Marquette uh, head coach and GM of the Philly Little Flyers. A 6-5 loss for you to end the series against the Avalanche. Yep. But first, take us through your thoughts of the game. Well, I thought we were much better today. You know, competitive from the beginning. I thought we had a good jump in our legs and we were able to create a lot more offense today than we did yesterday. I mean, 47, 48 shots was pretty nice. Every time one team punts, the other team punts back. Yeah. How, how do you keep the emotions in check on the bench in the game? Like that? Yeah, that's tough. you got to realize, you know, every shift matters, especially in that third period when it's getting down to the end and, you know, you're trying to go through your lines and figure out who's going to be up and who's going to be waiting to get up and, you're playing it out all the way to the end. So, you take away the first ten minutes of Game One, yeah. uh, and the rest of your time here in Providence, it was it was dead equal. Um, do you feel the same way? Yeah, without question. I think we were uh, uh, again coming as a four seed. You think you know, um, you know, you, you, I, again, I told our boys you can't think of it that way. You're just one of four teams left, and and I think uh, I think they had a lot of confidence from the second and third period yesterday, honestly, because they realized, okay, the speed of the game is not too much, and you know they can crash and hit and all everything else we have to do. And I think they took that into today. So I thought we played basically about five and a half good periods when you needed six. I'm gonna start with the the younger players because you and I laughed earlier this week about how many guys you can just bring back right away for them to get this experience. Yeah. How valuable is that? Yeah, it's uh, really valuable. And I just talked about that in the locker room. You know, we only lose six players on the goalie. So, you know, you have the uh, 17 players sitting there that can come back, including the entire decor outside of Shane Green. Um, so we're pretty excited about that, that we could uh, bring back a core and a good uh, good goaltender uh, or even two good goaltenders that we have and, uh, and just build the pieces, you know. So um, it's important to get this experience because it's high pressure. It's... You know, even our two, three game series was great for them to just get that feel of what it's going to take to even just get here to begin with. Sure. So, I want to touch on all six of those players that you are losing, but you know, it'll take, it'll take a good hour, yeah. probably, right? But we'll talk about the one that you just mentioned because he impressed the hell out of me when I met him for the first time at the All Star event back in October. Uh, just for a second, talk about Shane Green, what it means to lose a yeah, it, it, uh, he's a quality kid. I've had him for five years. He's been with us for five years with the P and now the E. And uh, just a, a great kid. You know, he is uh, he's smart. He's a good leader. He plays his heart out every time. Never says a word to anybody on the ice. And uh, great grades in school. Like, he's the kind of kid you want all the time. And, uh, and we're going to miss him a lot. You know, I'll miss him personally because I've had him for so long. But the organization will miss him uh, just for the leadership of it. There's one more I want to touch on, and that's Kobe Howard. Yeah. Uh, you could make the case that there was no better forward after you know, January 1st in this league. What did you see from him when he came back from the Hall of Fame? You know, it, it was just different. His speed looked faster, and he looked like, I don't know, more, more confident when he entered his own. And, uh, and, it, and his line mates, again, they all fed into that. So the three of them, and they were outstanding in this series as well. They were hard to stop as well. And, uh, but he's a... a, a uh, great 200 foot player that uh, that a college is, is going to be um, lucky to get to be honest. Well, I know this stinks, but congrats on another great season. Thanks, Neil. Appreciate it.